Okay, this is going to be a tutorial on how to solve the 6x6 Rubik's Cube. In the interest of time, I won't go through the entire solve and show every single case, but if you, sh if you know how to solve up to a 5x5, you should know, or you should be able to figure out how to do most of the cases. Alright, so let's get this thing scrambled and let's start. All right, so here we are. Since this is a kind of a beginner tutorial, I'll start with the white. So for six by six, seven by seven and up, um, the basic idea of center building is in bars. So like you make one bar, two bar, three bar, and then four, and then the center's done. So you want to look around the cube, you want to build these bars. So for 6x6, six six, that means like these little center pieces, you match them up. And then all we need now is this piece, which is right here. Then we can just move it up. And then put it up. And again, I won't show every case, but I'll just show you the basics on how to make uh, certain bars in certain cases. So like this, um, all I need is these two pieces now, which I have this piece, so I can move it down and then put it like this, so then I can just move it up. So then all I need now is this corner, so I can move it up to the white side. So after you have the white side, you're gonna go over to the other side and get the yellow. You wanna be very careful not to mess up either side. So these four inner layers, you don't really care about yet. So what you can use them for is just move them up. So then like this piece, you put it over here and you can just move it down. So you can slice these layers as much as you want and it won't mess up these layers. So then I have it here, but I need to get it on this side. So what I can do is do two up to you and then move it down. So now it's on the opposite side. So then that's how you get the middle bars. I'll just, so like this one, you just move it up into an empty spot, move it over to get some random pieces and then move it down. So once you have this next bar, you, what you don't want to do is move it up to here because that just moves it white up. What you have to do is put it in line with the one you've already solved and either do one up, one layer, or you can just do two since we don't have this other one yet. Do you two and then move it down. That's how you move that other bar up there. So then again, once you have this other yellow bar you don't want to line it up like this because that doesn't do anything you have to line it up with the one you've already solved move it up move the random pieces over and move it down so now you have the first two centers and then if I'm going too fast just either pause the video and watch it back or ask me a question in the comments and I'll I'll help you as much as I can so then next you can start on any four of the colors I think I'm going to start on red for right here, so I can take these two, move it up to create my first bar. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show what to do with the bars, not just how to make them, until the last couple centers. Two middle, and you want to start by making the two middle bars and then the two outer ones. It just makes it easier. So then I'm going to try and create this outer bar, so I can put this here. And move it up but I notice this moves out of the spot this is perfectly fine you just need to move this over and then move the piece back down and then move the reds down there after you've got your third center this is where you need to be very careful for six by six because you can switch around the centers so like I could build orange right here but that's not what the color scheme is. This side has to be blue, so I have to go to blue after red. 
So I just build the inner bars and then the outer bars while remembering that I have to preserve this red side. So any move you make, you have to move it back up. Because so I have the majority of the blue side solved, but this is a kind of a tricky case. Um, this last middle part here, this middle centerpiece, has to go here, but it's stuck here. What you have to do is you have to move it over and insert it onto this other side. So then you can just bring it down, bring it over, and bring that up. So then all you have is that last bar. So now we're at the last two centers, and this is where it gets kind of tricky for big cubes. Um, it's definitely tricky for beginners. So in this case, I got actually really lucky. Um, I'll start with green, and you can you can do whichever center you want because it doesn't really matter. Um, this one already has two green bars. What you want to the way you want to do it is you want to make a middle bar and then one outer bar on the same side and then the inner bar and then outer bar that's the easiest way to do it so like this um, I could just to, in order to make this last middle bar I can just move this piece up then move it this way down so then when I move this up I can do a U2 then bring it down so then this last part you want to find uh, one of the edges with a corner piece on it. It's like this. And this could be in a bunch of different ways. So I recommend just playing around, um, trying to figure it out. So since this last corner is over here, I have to get it right here. I'm The only thing I'm trying to do is get three pieces on this bar, and then I'll insert it, and I'll show you how to put the last piece in. So for this case, you do this, and so you have one piece left on both centers, and this is where you start to use a commutator. So a commutator is, um, depending on if it's this piece or this one right here, it both it works the same. You just have to choose whichever layer it is. So you put it both on the right side. You move these three layers up move this uh, U prime move this complete layer down U move the side up U prime and then move this side back up and then we'll solve that last piece and solve the last two centers so the next step is to solve the edges which is definitely the most time consuming part so I won't show every edge. I'll just show you the basic idea. So I'll start with this red and yellow. So I want to insert these pieces down here so I can slide this piece over and build that three. So then I look around for the last one. That's right here. So I want to insert it into this layer and then slide it over. So then now I can move it up, bring in some random edges. And then you don't you don't have to realign the layer until the last four centers. So you can just keep pairing edges. And then I would start putting them on the same layer like these two are complete. So then you just keep doing that until you fill up the top and bottom layer with solved edges. Okay, so that might have taken you a while. Um, that's okay. Um, so you have four edges up here and then four edges down here. And then the next step is you have to realign the centers like that. So then you're down to the last four edges. So the last four edges can be kind of tricky. So I'll just walk through a couple of cases. So like these two blues, we'll start with that. 
um, what you want to do is, since there's four edges, I would move one of the random pieces up here. So then this blue, we can move over to here, like this. And then we can just insert this random one and then realign the center. That's important. You have to realign because you have one solved edge down here now. So then now, um, if you rem remember from the 5x5, five five, the flipping algorithm, that's where you start applying this. Um, so this last blue and yellow piece, remember we move random edges up here. So I can slide this over, put in random edges, and then slide it back. So then in a case like this, for 6x6, six six, um, this is where you would use the flipping algorithm. So you'd put this red and green edge, just like this, slide it over, do the flipping algorithm, like that, and then move it back. So then you're down to two, and the way I would do this is, like these two are opposite pieces, so I can take this center, or the, like the top edge, slide it over, do the flipping algorithm, move it back. So now I only have this last piece, which I got lucky, so I can just slide it over to this flipped one, just that middle layer, flipping algorithm, and then move it back. And that'll solve the edges. So you could have gotten a wide range of last two center or even last four center cases, um, like such as this one. In this case, this means you have parity. So what I would do is flip the edge around and just pretend that these are backwards. So put it over here, flipping algorithm, move it back. So now there's one edge out of all of them that are flipped. So now you have edge parity. Okay, so when you have edge parity like this, the algorithm that you need to learn goes like this. You do a rotation. And then right here, you move this layer up, but you move the whole cube like this. Do U2, then R prime. So at this point, you should have all the centers solved and the edges. And then now it's just three by three stage. Okay, and then for six by six, you might end up with OLL parity. So, this is the same algorithm as the 4x4, four four, so it goes like this. Rotation. Okay, and then you might end up with PLL parity as well. Um, I already covered this in another video, but I'll just go ahead and show what it looks like. And now your cube should be solved. And if you have any questions or your cube isn't solved, uh, just leave them in the comments down below. And I'll see you in the next one.